And now, ISRO has shared an update on India's first solar mission, Aditya L1. ISRO has tweeted out saying that the satellite is healthy and operating nominally. And uh, the first earthbound uh, maneuver is performed successfully from uh, ISRO Center in Bengaluru. And the new orbit attained is 245 km into 22,459 km. And the next maneuver is scheduled for September 5th around uh, 3 p.m. So, uh, around 3 a.m. So, this is uh, the update that is coming in from ISRO on India's first solar mission that is Aditya L1 that was launched uh, yesterday from Sri Harikota at 11.50 a.m. Now, uh, Aditya L1 mission, uh, the, sa the satellite is healthy and operating nominally. This is what ISRO has updated. And uh, the first earthbound maneuver, uh, EBN number one, is performed successfully from uh, the ISRO Center in Bengaluru and the new orbit which is attained is 245 kilometers uh, into 22,459 kilometers and the next maneuver which is EBN number 2 is scheduled for September 5th. So this is the latest update that we are getting. Uh, ISRO has updated uh, that the satellite of the uh, Aditya L1 mission is healthy and is operating nominally. Remember uh, the India's first solar mission Aditya L1 was launched yesterday from Sri Harikota at 11.50 uh, a.m. and it is now moving towards the sun and will reach point L1 between the earth and the sun in over four months from now. We are being joined by CNN News 18's Ritu on the story. Ritu, uh, so this is the update that we are giving our viewers uh, that ISRO has said that the satellite is healthy and is operating nominally. What more details do we have? Well, so that's the first tweet coming in from the uh, uh, ISRO right now about the update of uh, Aditya L1, where they are saying, uh, where the ISRO is right now saying that uh, the Earth maneuver of the Aditya L1, the first one has been performed and it is so far doing uh, uh, good as it was planned by the ISRO. But uh, what ISRO is also further mentioning is that the next maneuver is actually scheduled for September 5th. So remember, uh, the ISRO chairman is so said that before it reaches uh, its designated point, the L1 point that we're talking about, which is very closest between the Earth and the uh, Sun, and where from where, uh, you know, there can be a direct observation on the Sun. So yes, there will be another, uh, no, there will be a few maneuvers, earthbound maneuvers that will actually be performed. So this is the first one that has been performed right now, and another one will be on September 5th. But it's quite interesting because what the kind of updates that Intro is also giving regarding the Chandrayaan-3, similar excitement seems to be in, in, in Indians, of course, uh, related to Aditya L1 as well. To what kind of uh, you know, data it is going to give uh, to the ISRO and how it is really going to be helpful as well to the uh, scientific community. Ritu, if you could just tell our viewers what are the key objectives of the Aditya L1 mission? So yes, uh, Aditya L1, of course, that we do know that how it is going to travel for almost 1.5 uh, million kilometers uh, from the sun. So it, this whole mission, in fact, took place in three phases, as in first coming out of the Earth's gravitation, and then there's a the crucial phase, and then the, uh, the third one that we are right now looking forward to, because two phases have already been done. So the third one is about the injection of uh, Aditya L1 to its uh, designated position, that's the L1 point, which is closest uh, to the uh, sun, in fact, from where... Uh, uh, the Israel will be able to study the outermost, uh, the outermost atmosphere or the outermost layer of the sun that's called as corona and then the chromosphere as well, the photosphere as well, to understand how there are variations in the space weather and the solar winds as well. Remember, it was a big plan of uh, India. It was working on this mission from since 2005. And, uh, you know, before that as well, there was a ground uh, research that was actually taking place. But right after 2005 itself, that it became even more. Uh, important for the India because that's when we understood that how important it is to study the sun at the earliest to understand how the space weather changes and its impacts as well. So yes, these are the objectives of this Aditya L1. But as said, it is going to be quite interesting and exciting as well uh, because the ESRO will be putting out more and more details now with the Chandrayaan 3 and as well as with the Aditya L1. All right, Ritu, thank you so much for giving us all those details.